Hello and welcome to the Legoland Lego store in Billund, Denmark to take a look around this huge space. Now there's a lot to get through because there's a big sales pile of sets which has a surprising amount of stock in with a good discount. We've got to have a look at all the different minifigures and you've got the pab section as well where you can get all your Lego bricks and things from and obviously fill up your cups and everything like that. And then I do believe this store has basically every single box available that is currently on the Lego website. So there's a lot to see in the next sort of 18 minutes or so. Obviously starting with the Alpine Lodge, I think that is a very very sweet looking set they are all ready for halloween and it always does look very very effective for halloween in this massive store we pan around and miss all of the sweets and we miss some of the disney dresses there's a lot of clothing in this store and we're starting with its own special eternal sales pile now this is still available for sale i think they have a set of every single thing available obviously they didn't sell very well the film didn't do fantastically well clearly going by how many sets that's still available and i do believe that they have been on sale now for a year if not longer so they are doing their best to get rid of those some of them might actually be sold out on the lego website so that might be your last chance to get them at this lego store so if you are missing a couple of minifigures or you did want to get one of the sets for parts for example this will be your best place to get them from then they've got a good dreams display is obviously what we're looking at now at the moment we will go back to the sales pile so the eternals had its own sort of bin and then there is a big sales pile of stuff that is getting discontinued at the end of this year mixed in with bits and pieces that have just been on a sale for a while so I do believe like the Batman is going at the end of this year so that's on that pile now if you want to pause it and have a look at the ID numbers you'll be able to see the stuff that is in a discount you get up to 30% off some of these sets which is obviously quite tasty amount of money but obviously they're not you can't get that price off at the Lego website. So some of these have already gone from the Lego website as well. So if you are coming here before Christmas and you want to get some Christmas gifts, this area might be a good area to get them from because some of them are obviously just going. So like the a lot of the film stuff, the Black Panther stuff's going, a lot of the dots have been discontinued and things like that. The friend stuff that you saw at the start, that would have been the older friend sets because obviously the newer characters are out and about now. And then they've just got some older Duplo sets on display. So it's a good selection of bits and pieces within that area. But you can see just how big the store is behind and that's the smaller side so the uh, it goes all the way back up on itself the other way so we have a lot to get through so some of it's short sharp snippets just because it, the store was getting quite busy so i just did it in a slightly different way rather than walking around but they did have a lot of new models on display so they had this thing for example which i think did look very very effective and i think we have a look at the models that are then in the corner as well so there were some newer ones there that i don't think i'd seen before and then there was new areas for just new bits and pieces so again you can see where they got the area for the dreams now the dreams weren't a theme last time I came here so they've got these in a really good prime place where you just obviously come in and it's just oh it's technically I guess the first range of stuff that you see but they have got it beside the sale stuff from the stuff from the Lego movie 2 still because so again that film didn't do fantastically well compared to the original Lego movie so the fact that you can still get Lego movie 2 stuff after multiple years it's a shame, but again, they're nice minifigures, so they, they are at a good price. You can see how many bricks are involved in that one and the amount of hours that are involved in that. And then you've got this really cool panda as well. I think that does look nice. And that gives you a nice look out into the park. And behind that window is actually where the mini land is. So you can see all the different bits and pieces there. So the first lot of sets technically were the Duplo, but there were a lot of people stood there. So I think we might have missed the Duplo and then just gone straight into what a lot of people like, which is a pick-a-brick. So you have a huge area to get some bits and pieces from. Different on this one which you actually goes by weight. So it tells you how much it costs per thing of you weigh. So it's a bit like the old school pick and mix sweets. The more sweets you put in, the heavier it is, the more it's going to cost you. Same thing with the bricks. Now you can see you've got a lot of three-in-one creator sets. So you have a large amount of everything and again you've got a lot of Disney sets as well you might need to pause it if you want to see the prices of different bits and pieces or just go back and see some of the stock I just went around at a steady pace we saw almost everything but like I said I just went to different areas in the store to film what I could and then just carry on without getting in anybody's way but they have got every single large set here as well and I think it's really easily grouped together so you've got all the friends stuff together you've obviously got all the Disney stuff grouped together so it's nice and simple to see and you can see just the volume of friends stuff that is out and that's obviously not including the stuff that you can get in a sale as well so friends have been going around now for a good while and it is a very very popular series 
and hopefully they'll still keep going on because it's their own thing. So they've added in all these new characters. It'd be interesting to see how they take off with the new generation of little ones that are growing up. And obviously the ones that grew up with the older friend sets have probably moved on to slightly older sets anyway. But you can see they have sort of gone into more of a modular style um, area. I've always thought that the actual friends buildings do look very, very effective. But I just didn't like the fact that they didn't mix with the actual minifigure stuff. So I don't get them for that, that reason. Back into more dreams so again they've got a good area for the dreams and then you've got all the brick heads and i think that is every single brick head that you can currently buy all grouped together so again a lot of the lego stores don't have the space for that now this is every single legoland exclusive set grouped together as well and you can obviously get yourself some teddies and towels and backpacks so again slight difference with regards to what they sell at the legoland stores they sell every single set plus the exclusives plus like all the castle shields and all the other little bits and pieces from Ninjago. And you can get all your towels, you can get swimwear for the water parks if you need to and all that kind of thing, depending on what Legoland you are around in the world. And this does, and it always has done, look very, very effective because that is the Legoland exclusive with all of the Legoland rides in. Now, if you probably saw as we first came in, they do have a lot of storage heads. Now we've got all the Halloween heads. We are back to where we started. The Alpine Lodge is just on the left-hand side. Look at the selection of Hocus Pocuses that they've got there. And then you've got all of the, what is going to be discontinued haunted house sets on display. They've got loads of them there. And they've also got them located in different areas as well. Now that's saying that you can actually um, upgrade for your 2020 24 park pass as well so you can save yourself some money i think the rivendell set what they've done with this and they've added in just that little bit of extra bits and pieces at the front looks incredible and they've created that little walkway out the front that is something that i might consider doing just as a path and a walkway i kind of need to pause that and almost copy it in lego form because i think that does look very very smart and deep so obviously they've actually used shrubbery by the looks of that or they've used like um fish bits and pieces so they've kind of cheated a little bit but it's not uh, lego bricks but they've created a really nice walkway at the front of that rivendell set and that's something that i've been trying to do so one that's my picnic areas in my own theme park display now we've got all of the massive sets to come so they've grouped all the architecture sets together so you can see here we go so this is now in a different location to where they were last time i came again all easy grabable at this store you can just take them to the till and you can go they are the yearly sets at the top. They will be going sooner rather than later. And obviously you can get them on the LEGO website. And then there's everything. You've got the Doctor Strange stuff. You've got the Shield. You've got the Spider-Man set. You've got the Daily Bugle. You've got the 8080. Small block of cheese. We'll go back to that in a minute because obviously there's people still beside me. As we come up, you've then got the huge Eiffel Tower. In the background, you've then got all of the cars. You have got some more sort of three-in-one creator stuff. You've got some Star Wars bits and pieces, which we will have a much better look at later on in the video because Star Wars has its own area further on in the shop as well but you can see you've got the titanic you've got the harry potter train and then you've got all of the defender you've got the technic bikes and then as we start panning left and then panning right you just have all the different lego creator cars mixed in with the technic stuff there was the atari to the right hand side you've got this uh, peugeot le mans car which is in a massive sale currently in the uk that hasn't been out very long and it's on a massive sale all of the current modulars i know some of these are going in fact a few of these are going very very quickly so Get your hands on those. Some of the ones that are going to be retired are getting difficult to find already. Then you've got the LEGO Creator NASA bits and pieces up at the top where you've got all the different rockets and things. Pac-Man does look very, very sweet. They've got all the game stuff together. So you've got the NES, the Atari, the Pac-Man. Then you've got the Bowser, you've got the castle, you've got the, um, obviously, Indiana Jones coming through. Never really get what that thing is just there, but you've got the castle next to the Loop Roller Coaster. Concord, they had loads of these. You can't get them anywhere. They're back ordered on the LEGO website still. You couldn't get them at any of the other stores around Billund. And they had tons of the Concord. So I wouldn't imagine they would have had many left by the end of day. Because I did come back in after um, the rides and things started to shut. Because this is open a good hour, if not two hours, after they start closing the rides. Depending on how dark it gets. And it was rammed in here. So you can just imagine how many sets get sold very, very quickly. But they had everything. And what I did like is these displays. It gives you some good ideas of what you can do just with larger bricks. Normally, just put a load of tiles down, but they've just used larger, big Lego bricks. They've added in this pirate theme, which I do like, and that's how they've displayed theirs. It's surprising, actually, how big that is um, with regards to how they've displayed it in that queue because I, the, I've seen it in a straight line, but I haven't seen it split up into two islands like that with the boat going down the middle. So again, if I was to pick that up, that is giving me ideas for different bits and pieces. That was the um, 90 years of play, I think, and that had the castle. 
that is still going to be about but the actual explorer rocket that is going the star wars new star wars sets out and available you can see how many of them had already been sold in the morning and then you've got the nice ucs x-wing uh, starfighter and then obviously you've got the new massive block of cheese Looks very, very effective. Saw that built up at the Lego house. It does look very, very slim line. It does look very smooth. Every single Christmas set available currently you can get from here. All the different ones, all the different trees. You've got the stuff that was really, really hard to find as well. Some of the stuff that's always sold out on the Lego website. It's all available from here, including the baubles and the sort of like the decorations that you can make up with the ginger people. That's always a really nice thing to do. And I think that was new for 2023, actually. So they were the new sets as well. Then you can see here all the Minecraft next to the Lego City stuff. Lots and lots of bits and pieces on display. As you can see, I'm waddling around, just sort of basically shuffling beside the people that are beside me as everybody just soaks everything in it is quite hard to take it in because there's just so much stuff and you can see there's multiple stuff of everything but on each shelf it is different sets and they've even grouped the different series i think here together then you've got all the backpacks you've got all the cut swords you've got the different tins i think you've got like games and then you've got uh, luggage tags you've got minifigure torches Everything and everything all grouped together for each theme dotted around here. And then again, what I do like, I keep saying this, is that they do then have the bigger display unit. So you can see the stuff built up because it's always nice to see what it looks like for scale with regards to it all built up as well. Guys, we've got about seven minutes left. So if you can like this video and subscribe to the channel, that'd be absolutely fantastic. And again, feedback below with regards to what sets are on your wish list. Have you been to this store before? And are you hoping to get here over the next couple of years into Billund? Because it is a beautiful place to come and visit. Now... The other nice thing about this store is they have all of the Monkey Kid sets, which is a nice thing to see, and they do look very, very good. Now, you can see the shop is so big, depending on what window or emergency exit you look out of, you'll be looking into different parts of the actual theme park. So the first bit we were looking at was actually the Miniland, and then that area was quite close to the entrance. So the, the shop is big and it has got room to expand even more i think if it wants to just looking at the layout of where the shop actually is it'd be very very interesting to see if one day they do expand this store because obviously new york is massive they did expand the windsor one recently as well which did look incredible but they do have so much space in this store it doesn't really feel like they need to expand it anymore because they have got other stores within the legoland park where you can get more minifigures you can build stuff you can get your mosaic pieces and things like that now you can see all of the marvel selection that they've got currently and how they've grouped everything together some of those in fact a lot of this stuff that we are looking at will be no longer by christmas that just to find the bottom right hand corner that is a, in a monstrous sale currently i told you that star wars had its own section it also has its own models as well which we'll be looking at soon so i think there's a big darth vader that everybody was getting their photo taken with so that was always quite nice to see i think some of those models they would have had dotted around the um, different parks and now they've got them here instead but it's quite interesting to see that they brought some of those back because at one point they had all gone because there was that whole hoo-ha with actual disney and they had their own area over with star wars and it does seem to be that a lot of the lego larger models starting to creep back for star wars so maybe one day we'll be able to get them back and we'll be able to see them in in all their glory but they have this this I haven't seen in this store for a long, long time. I'm sure this used to be at the Lego Hotel, as did this used to be at the hotel with a couple of the others. They had loads of them there, and I think they had them dotted around some of the parks as well, uh, and then they pulled them out. So it'd be interesting to see if this was actually in the Star Wars section of this theme park. Um, but let us know, because like I said, I'm not a local and I don't know everything, it's just stuff that I try and read online. So if you know more than me, which more than likely you will do, let us know. But like I said, the Star Wars stuff just keeps going and going and going. You have a lot to pick from, so you are very, very spoilt for choice for that. Now, this was where the Last Chance section used to be. Now, it's a little bit of a worry because off the Avatar sets are going, they are all going into a sale. But the stuff that's also in it is the Jurassic Park stuff and the Indiana Jones stuff. So I'm assuming that that is that I'm not selling very well pile. And then as it comes through, you've got all these little bubble machines. And then on the other side, it was just more clothing. So we'll stick to the Lego. You've got, again, more Harry Potter bits and pieces with all the different bits that you can get for the actual castle. Then they did have the huge set there. Um, obviously, the new Gringotts Bank. That, I do believe, still came with the giveaway. Because you can see that on the artwork there on the shelf. That was still available to purchase. And you could still get the impossible giveaway if you wanted to. Because that thing sold out online instantly. Recently. and it obviously was a very very good looking giveaway there all the rest of your technic stuff 
this is in a completely different area and you have got your motors so if you have never seen these things before you can in those packs here they're all the different motors you need to get all the lights turned on or get the chains working in the actual areas of different bits and pieces and then they have got the christmas bits and pieces all dotted in here so you can see you've got your builder minifigure and you've got three of them already made up for you or you can obviously if you want to make up your own as well and then you've got all of the other nutcrackers and the christmas trees and you've got all the key rings and you've got all the plush teddies and then these are even more key rings so if you're a key ring fan well yeah there's there's a key ring of absolutely everything here i think there's still the nexo knights key rings from way back when so if you are a big fan of the nexo knights they have got hundreds of those key rings still dotted around these theme parks then there's dotted around everywhere as well i think that was a theme that really did not work for lego which i was quite surprised at when they went so heavy into it and then what is nice to see is all of these now they still got the ninjago bits that you can make up so they were around and about a good little while ago um, i'm surprised that they are still here but they had obviously this is, these were available when the new ninjago set came out so the ninjago market this was a thing that you could do i highly recommend doing it because it's the ninjas that aren't in the actual set or it's the ninjas in their actual outfits rather than their casual wear so if you are wanting to pick up some of those, you can pick up three of them and they're still available from this store. I don't know if they're going to be available from any of the other stores, but it was very, very easy at the big billand Lego shop just to pick those up. And you can see as we pan through the last couple of bits and pieces, lots of different bobs for Halloween. You've got all the different cups and then there's lots of other little sets that are available in there as well, which I think do look very, very smart. And of course, because we're at Halloween, we're going to have Father Christmas stood there and you're going to have some other Christmas bits and pieces dotted out. So it won't be long until all the Christmas sets are in pride of place. But the reason why they've done that is if you can spot them, it's easy enough, is every single advent calendar currently. And that is in a quick grab me and take me to the till place. So they would sell very, very quick. But guys, I really am now starting to run out of time. So if you get feedback below, let us know in the comments what is on your wish list. Let us know if there's anything that you're looking forward to coming out in the 2024 year as we come around and have a look at the, some of the last larger sets. And again, just look at the amount of volume of stock that they got for the Alpine Lodge. And again, I was really surprised by just how many Concords that they had available i thought that they, this would be a, another store that would be struggling to get them in but obviously we are at the home of the brick where they are produced so the fact that they still have so many of these available is really really nice to see and it will be something that i think i will actually end up picking up for my own display but i think it just looks very very effective indeed i know it's a bit of a random thing to get for a theme park area but i think it does look really effective and you've got all the disney 100 bits and pieces and apparently there's a new giveaway coming out for that sooner rather than later then you've got the a-frame again they've used the big bricks out the front on that and then you have got the Viking Village, which I think does look smart. And then over to the GT40. And then you've got a nice cabinet of all the bits and pieces for all the different cars. So this is all by the till. So the, there's a massive amount of space behind me to look around and walk around. And then here it is. So this is the Concorde. Loads of boxes on that. That's the price. So it's obviously the newer Lego Icon set. It's been on back order for ages. It's very, very impressive built up. You can just see how big that thing is. And obviously it all rips out internally. So you can have make that as a really nice display piece. But guys, as always, thank you very much much for watching you lot take care of the next one Ta -da.